Hello? Hey. Elaine! How are you? How's that washed-up husband of yours doing? What is it? Dead, Deke. A car wreck. He's... But a car wreck? When? Uh, two weeks ago. That's what the sheriff's calling it. A car wreck. I just don't know. I, I, I didn't know if you knew. No, no, I I'm sorry to hear that. I've been running the bar by myself, and all I can do is... Well, look, don't worry about it. I'll, uh, I'll come up here this afternoon. Oh, thanks, but you must have things to do in No, hour. no, it's no problem. I've got, uh, <laughs> I've got no urgent business. I'll be up there today. You're a good friend. Okay. Sit down for the weekend, huh? Just a second. Three bucks. Put it on my tab. You at least gonna bring the bottles back? Tell me you're not married and the mother of three kids. I'm not. If they had a tank of gas, I'd be a happy man. How many more of you guys are gonna show up? How many more of me you think you can handle? That'll get you the next time. Well, I'm not going to the next town. Don't you guys ever get tired of making life miserable? Never mind. Uh, lady, if you could, could tell me how to get to the 49er Bar and Grill, I'd appreciate it. Keep the change. Up there to the right. Thank you. Uh, are you Elaine's friend? Yeah. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, I thought you were somebody else. Welcome to town. <laughs> I'll accept your apology over dinner. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Audrey. <laughs> Deacon Porter. Hi. I didn't expect you so soon. Take a look at that picture. Marty sent me that just before you guys left Nam. Remember the day we took this picture? <laughs> Seems like a long time ago. Shame to go through all that combat and then to buy in a lousy car accident. If it was a car accident. 
Marty was too good a driver. And he knew these roads too well. That was no accident, Deke. Who'd want to kill? Elaine? This is new help? Deacon Porter, Clay Marsh. I expect we'll get to know each other. Deke fought with Marty in Vietnam. Vietnam. Porter, let me give it to you straight. We don't take to outsiders for King's Ransom. Outsiders usually mean trouble. And I don't need trouble. I'm just here to help a friend. See to it that you keep it that way. Elaine? He always is friendly? He has a problem with the growers. They've taken over the valley for their marijuana business. Come on. Come here. I want to show you something. Come on. What? I'll show you. Huh? Ta-da! Oh, wow! We drove right past here last night, and we didn't even see it. It was too dark. It could have been anything. Look! There's more growing over there! I knew you'd like California better than Canada. <laughs> oh, it's harvest time! Right! <laughs> Try to dry their fire. No. Don't argue. No. Please, Linda, do it. Go. Do it. Doing 
some talking? What'd you tell that guy? Huh? What'd you tell him? I think you got a big mouth. I'll teach you to keep your big mouth shut. Oh! Lock him up. I'll press charges later. Come on, let's take a little walk. I thought you and I had an agreement. Yeah, I had no choice. The whole place saw what happened. If Porter hadn't stopped that goon of yours, he would have beat that guy to death. It was just a little excitable, that's all. You can let him out, and he's cooled down by now. Can't do it. This time it's different. Porter's pressing charges. Don't worry about it. I'll handle Porter. Everything's okay. Here's a little something called the bail money. Okay, turn you down on this one, Corey. Have it your way. But remember one thing. I give the word my boys will bury you in your head town. Now you better think real hard and see if you can't recall just who it is that's been keeping you in business around. with you, Sheriff. scared to talk to me. Come on. Damn growers. I think they own the town. What about your sheriff? I think they own him, too. I have an idea. Why don't I take you for a ride through the countryside? That's the best offer I've had yet. Yeah? OK. Let's go. tonight. You really didn't have to get all dolled up on my account. Ready? Pardon me, I didn't realize you two were together. Aren't you gonna introduce me to your friend? Deacon Porter, John Carey. Welcome to King's Ransom, Deacon Porter. Thank you. I hope you find our town to your liking. You know what, Carey? It's not your town. You ready? Yeah.
own everything in this town. Come on, they're gonna kill him, please! Your boyfriend's just not a reasonable man. Nobody owns me. Please, stop it! You want him? Take him. Okay, boys, let him go. I'm gonna try something else on this. Just a second. I think this is more the way to... It was an accident. You had a few drinks, lost it on a curb, went over the cliff. Doesn't sound like Marty to drink and drive. Well, people change. They get careless. Went through six years of combat with that man. He kept people alive because he wasn't careless. Hey, Porter, I'm trying to be nice to you. Don't be. I'll find out what happened to Marty with or without your help. I want to see that coroner's report. I don't have to show you anything. I'll be back with a court order. Talk. What's on your mind? That guy Porter is threatening to open up the investigation in Marcus Deering's death. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think he means it. That's one guy he shouldn't have messed with. Let him investigate. What's he gonna find out? Maybe nothing. But if that coroner you paid off decides to talk, we're all in a lot of trouble. No talk. I think Porter can be pretty persuasive. Get on back to town. I'll figure something out. Yeah.
<laughs> That's one guy that won't be causing any more trouble. Yeah, you can see that again. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Nice and peaceful around here, huh? Too bad about your boyfriend. This is very sociable of you, Audrey. I should kill you right now, you son of a bitch. Hysterical again? Get out. Get out. Of here. Or I'll shoot your ass off. This is it? You bet. Come on, Deke. You were lucky the last time. You go back up there again, they're going to kill you for sure. Got to go back. Why? Just something I got to do, that's all. Will you knock off the John Wayne shit for a minute and be realistic? Did you bring the stuff? Yeah. Listen, you know I'm the best electronic specialist in the business. Now, I've been doing it for 20 years. I can do it in my sleep. You think you can learn everything from a book overnight? Forget it, Deke. It's hopeless. You can't do it by yourself. I guess you're just going to have to take me along. It's not your fight, Spence. God damn it, Marty was my CO2. I've not taken you. No, that's final. Fine. I'm going to help you whether you like it or not. You have my word on it. This is a rather expansive order. I fear my partners will require something a little more substantial than your word. I see your point. Perhaps the deed to my boat will suffice. I think my partners will agree. I'll have the papers for you this afternoon. Half down, the balance on delivery, including the return of your collateral, of course. Of course. Salam, Mr. Bartlett. See you around. Grease ball.
You never change, do you? Hey, Jesus. It's been a long time, man. Long time. I uh, just looked for you over at the art club. They told me I'd find you out here. Nice boat. <laughs> Hell, Art, this isn't my boat. That's my bucket over there. <laughs> you snake. Look, uh, buddy, I know that... I, uh, I just thought I'd drop by to see if I could get you to change your mind about going with me to help Deke. I can't do it. I can't go with you. I'm past it. Come on. You know what I do now? I keep the rich Arabs supplied with pop guns. It's a real, uh, nice arrangement. Now, what can you say to me to make me want to fuck that up? You got a friend who needs your help. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put together a package for you. It'll be good, all you need. But I can't go with you. Call me when it's ready. Get the sack. Yeah, Arnold, get What it. do you think? Mother Nature at its best. True, man. Keith, you said it. Not bad, huh? Too green, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, just bring us a little, uh, you know. Here. 
morning. How's the sheriff business? There's three kids missing from college over at Oak Hill. Maybe they took off on spring vacation. Maybe they didn't. Look, Kerry. Two campers disappeared from the east. That could have happened anywhere. It's a big, wide country. I'm talking about local kids now. And I'm not the only one that's talking. Well, then you better come up with some answers. Don't push me. What do you want? More money? No more killings. When I do a job, I do what the job needs. You're in too deep to tell me to do anything else. closed this place years ago. Nobody comes around. I doubt Carrie even knows about it. Look solid, boss. This place checks out just fine. All right, let's go get the gear. Let's start a war! Better get back to the gas station. I don't want you getting hurt. I'll keep an eye on things. Okay? Let's just torch the sons of bitches. They'd be back in business again in two months. No, I want to take these bastards apart one piece at a time. You got to be realistic, Ox. A little selective sabotage. Look it. We're going to fight a goddamn war. Let's fight a goddamn war. Do it. We are. Our way. This setup. Come on, let's take a closer look.
He'll draw like a chicken. This chick, man, is a crowd boy. I just don't believe in myself. So, did you get any? Did you get any? Come on, who are you talking to? <laughs> What's up? You pick up some of my boys last night. Now, why would I do that? Maybe you started to feel like a sheriff. Just answer me, Marsh. Hey, I didn't pick anybody up. Jesus. You act like it was the first time these punks took off on you. Not three at once. Maybe they took a spring vacation. And maybe some other grower decided I had three men too many. Hey, you picked a tough business. This is my territory. I pay you to keep it that way. Well, it ain't much, Spence, but it's all we've got. Yeah, Bart never came through. But it should be interesting. Uh, I wish I had a bazooka. Hmm. Ox. Oh! Always complaining. You dickhead. You are a couple of... Passing through, are you? Yeah, something like that. What uh, sort of business you in? Minding my own. Where are you staying at? Motel. Down the road. Uh huh. Roach Motel. There is cat hair in your armature. I'm sorry, Miss King. Well, you know, I usually get $35 an hour for this kind of work. Okay, half a piece of double bubble and a kiss from a future Monte Carlo winner.
trucks and blew the whole shipment up in smoke. Repeat that. The convoy is gone, plus we just caught a stranger with a van full of guns. Shit! Reese! They took the convoy. Jesus, I doubled the security. Obviously, it wasn't enough. If it's a war they want, I'll give them one. Who are you working for? Builder's Emporium. I'm in the lumber department. All you gotta do is tell us who sent you here. Why don't you go buy yourself a dress? <laughs> It's worth dying for. The guy's hardcore. Bring some boys into town. Chances are he's not on his own. When he talks, I'll be over at the cafe. Carrie's boys picked up a guy at Jake's diner a couple hours ago. Jake said he had a whole van full of guns, military stuff. Bartlett. Where? Jail, I think. Job again. Uh, oh, come on. Oh. 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 All right. Okay, in. Dickhead. Piss in. Oh. What the fuck? You won't get away with this. Oh. Hey, Dick, my lunch. Hey, man, don't need the fucking Shut key! Up, we'll cut that key out of your fat gut, uh, you hear me? Son of a bitch. Delicious. <laughs> Porter. Stay out of it, Marsh. Up, buddy. Good yeah. to see you. How you been, huh? Thanks, brother. All right. I knew you'd been on you, huh? Looks like they got you going there a little, didn't they, huh? Pretty good looking, I huh? I just got the crap beat out of me. <laughs> no problem. Good to see you. What the fuck, yeah. you know? Good to see uh, you too, man. Good to oh, see you too. <laughs> oh, you sweetie. <laughs>
Let's nail that son of a bitch. So you're riding us out, huh? Throw her in the car. She's gonna take us to see her boyfriend.
You okay? Yeah. Just a little rusty. Where's Kerry? Inside. <laughs> Carrie. Get inside. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> you and Porter can blow yourselves up all I care, but you let her go. You're pressing your luck. Hey, this stuff's gonna stop right here. I'm bringing in the state police. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I mean it. So do I. Reese. Thanks. Save it, Sheriff. Delta One, do you read me? Come in. This is Delta Four. Delta One, come in. Do you read me? They got at least four of my men. They're all over the place. <sighs> Forget it, man. These guys are too good. Let's get out of here. No. We'll regroup and hit them again tonight. I'll call for more of the guys.
Hey, I don't expect you to believe me. I want that viper as much as you do. We don't need this dickhead. Shoot him. Hey, Bog Brain, you're gonna shoot anybody. I know of another way in there. Ox. You guys go barging in there. Audrey's gonna be the first one to get it. I know Carrie's escape route. You'll never find it. You gotta take me along. All right, Sheriff, deal. But you make one move to cross me, I'll blow your fucking head off. All right, Ox, there's your field. You torch it. You guys see the fire? Blow the bridge. What if you're not back yet? You blow it. <sighs> OK. Hey, Ox, that weed starts to burn. Don't breathe too deep, huh? <laughs> All right, biggest joint in the world. I need this, Marsh.
field's been torched. The fields are on fire. Chuck, you yeah, right. Alert the outpost. Yeah. Nobody in, nobody out. Come on, Henley. I said, drop it! It ain't worth dying for, boy. Let it go. Now the handgun. Real easy.
Come! 